Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel today. Yes, I know, today we are finally dropping the Photoshop version of the tutorials. I know I said that I was going to release a Photoshop version of it when we reach 50 likes on this video, but now, bro, look, look where we're at now. We're at... <laughs> 161. Jesus Christ, dude. What are you doing, Raw? You're slacking, man. You're slacking. Um, see, I was contemplating whether to do it or not because I had stopped doing graphics and I came back to graphics and I was like, eh, I don't know. I don't know if I really feel like making a tutorial on it. So I just sat on it for a while and I, I was just thinking about it. So, but yes, we are finally here. We are now making the tutorial. I've gotten a hundred times better. Your boy is back. He's coming back harder than ever. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to turn this into this. Oh my God, look at that. You guys, you, you know you want to, you know you want to get on that level. Like, you know, that, that just looks professional. Like, Jesus, dude. Like, holy crap, man. That looks so nice. But, yes, the first thing that we're going to pretty much do, just to start off on this tutorial, um... We are going to pretty much double click on your render. So, you know, whenever you get your render in, you place it in, position it however you want. You double click your render. Um, and I usually put an inner glow on, a satin on, and a color overlay, and a gradient overlay. All right, so let's move on up to uh, the inner glow. So, when you click on inner glow, you're going to want to put the blend mode on overlay. You're going to want to put this on 75. You're going to want to come down here to the choke, put it on zero, put the size on 40. And, oh wait, not the zero in front, just 40. And that'll make the little nice little outlines in the sides. And then you want to go to satin, put it on multiply, put this on 10, put the distance on 208, put the size on 250, make it black, and there you go. You go onto the color overlay, you put it on normal, make it black, put the opacity on 10, then you move on down the gradient overlay, put the blend mode on overlay, put the opacity at 40, keep reverse checked off, align with layer checked on, 90 degrees, and 100% scale. Once you're done with all that, you click OK, and then you come down here to your little uh, render down here, you right click it, go to rasterize layer, it pretty much squishes everything together, double click it one more time, put another inner glow on, change the blend mode, to color dodge change the opacity to 30 come down to choke put that on five come down to size put that on 20 then once you're done with all that click okay and then you go back to your render right click it and then click rasterize rasterize style that seems like a lot but you guys will get the hang of it once you actually like you know start doing it a lot and stuff like that but yeah it's it's looking a lot better already so the next thing you want to do is click Control J that pretty much copies your render. Come up here to filter, go to filter gallery. And once you're in filter gallery, you're going to want to get a plastic wrap and a uh, glowing edges on. This pretty much is going to, you know, make it look all weird and stuff. Just don't worry. Don't worry about all that. You're going to want to make sure your plastic wrap is on 985. Um, so that's going to be 9 highlight strength. 8 detail, 5 smoothness, then go to your glowing edges, make it 4, 5, 2, edge width 4, edge brightness 5, smoothness 2. Then click OK when you're done with that. Um, and then you're going to want to go to the blending option of the filter gallery render. And either, it just depends on the, the lightness of your, you know, render. So you can either put on color dodge to make it like pretty light. Or you can put on overlay if you have a dark setting. But I like color dodge so i just put mine on color dodge then once you're done with that you're going to stay on your render copy and go down here to this little um like rectangle next to the F fx button click it that's pretty much a mask and then once you get your mask you're going to want to come to your paintbrush tool and make sure you have this on black and you're going to want to increase the size and get rid of some of this you know uh, plastic wrap in uh glowing edges so I usually just go around and get rid of most of it, not all of it, because some of it keeps the detail. And then, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty good for now. So whenever you're done with that, you're going to want to highlight both of these. Come to your rent, your original render and your uh, copy layer. Uh, hold shift, click both of them. That pretty much highlights both of them. Hold uh, control and E. That pretty much puts them together. Once you're done with all of that, you're going to want to pretty much click this new layer and then um, hold alt in between the new layer and your current layer and then there'll be like a little drop down arrow looking thing then you just click there and then you're going to want to go back to your brush and we are going to pretty much make him look all snazzy so 
let's just pretend like um well i i already made a pre-light right here so let's just pretend there was a light right here because there was there's there's no light there was no light at all so i just added one just pretend like there's a light there so that's where our light our main light source is going to come from so you're pretty much going to want to take the edges and well first you're going to want to change your uh layer style to overlay and i usually put mine on 60 but yeah wherever the light's coming from that's where your main source of light's gonna you know hit so we're going to change that to 75 so we get the most um effect from it and we're going to highlight the edges of the arm and the head and stuff like that because that's you know where that's where the main light is coming from then once you're done putting all of the main light source on here the first coat you're going to want to hold uh shift on your regular render and click Control E to pretty much combine it, but I usually just copy the, uh, you know, light that I literally just did not too long ago, and I just copy it, and I'll make like another layer of light just to give it a little bit more spizzazz. Then you're gonna combine all those. You're gonna want to make another layer, sandwich it, and go to your black light, and wherever the main source of light isn't coming from, you're just gonna want to highlight that and make it dark, pretty much. So, like, say, for instance, right here, you see there's no really, there's, there's not that much light coming from here. So, you're going to want to take the the, uh, dark, the black and then just highlight over here, and then it makes it darker, which gives it a lot, a lot of, um, you know, detail within the render. Once again, once you're done with that, you can either... Uh, combine both of the layers or you can just copy it uh, make another you know layer of dark and pretty much change out the opacity there and then we're gonna combine all those together and I'm gonna give it one more light because there are some areas that just need to be altered just a little bit we're gonna change the opacity to 50 and bring back the light tool and then there we go like this part right here needs to be altered just a little bit because there's still light coming in through there. Then we got to go here. So on and so forth. All right. So once we're done with all of that, um, you're pretty much done with all the light. So I'm going to show you the next step, which is, you know, you see how I've got like these little, these little lines and stuff on my character. That's what we're going to be moving on to next. But I'm not going to show you how to set it up because, you know, that's, that's a long process and, um, I'll just link the video where I got my lines from, which is this video here on the screen. Make sure you click on that video and watch that if you want to learn how to do the draw and lines and stuff like that, like how to set it up. But I'm just going to show you guys how to just, you know, where to position them and stuff like that. So for the drawn lines, we already have our preset here. So we're going to grab our preset. Make sure it's on white at all times. I personally like the white lines a lot because it makes the, the render pop a lot more. But it just depends on what type of light you're working with. Like, say, for instance, um, I worked on this thumbnail earlier today. And you see how I've got white lines and then there's an explosion at the bottom. Then you got yellow or orange and yellow lines here. It just depends on all the light that you do um, within the render. And that's just that just determines the lines and the line colors that you use but for this for in particular we're just going to use white lines because there's only white light here because i made that white light so yes let's put the lines where they're supposed to make sense so pretty much yeah it, it you just put the lines anywhere that makes sense so in order to do these lines you just go to the pen tool you'll click on the edge over here and then you know you go to the other spot where you want the line to be then you click there again then you right click you go to stroke path Make sure stimulate pressure's on, press OK, then it creates your line. Then once you're done with that, you right click again and delete path so you don't overwrite it. So we're just going to do that on all these spots here on the arm. And we're going to delete the path. We're going to come down here and make sure we do one here as well. If you want to bend a line, you have to click on one point, click on the other one, but hold the second point and just drag in the spot that you want it to bend. And then there we go. We've got a bending line right on there. That's pretty much it to the whole Photoshop part of this. I mean, there's really nothing else. You just do your lines. You put the correct light and stuff like that. Make it look good. 
I mean, as you progress, the better you get. Or the longer you do it, the better you get. Stuff like that. The more practice, the better. And, you know, you can get better uh, as time goes by. But, yes, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you do leave a like and a comment down below. Um, if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll try my best ability to actually answer them so you guys, you know, are uh, all your answers are... Or all your questions are answered. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys share this video. Make sure you leave a like. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.